myself professor sabina ben working as a principal in jagatguru shankaracharya college of nursing raipur this college is established in the year 2012 uh, onwards and uh, seventh or eighth batch has been passed out from this college uh, till now uh, means till today from year 2020 21 Uh, we are having only the gnm and bsc nursing program now the future from 2021 22 we are going to start our pg program in medical surgical nursing and uh, further we have planned for the other branches also in pg so this is about our college activities yes ma'am so ma'am shall we start with the questions ma'am yes sir yes ma'am You have held a key position as the in the educational institute throughout your professional career. What keeps you connected with the educational sector, and how was your experience? Okay, sir. Uh, I have started my career from GNM onwards, from diploma program in nursing. So I have worked in fifteen years from various uh, hospital sector in uh, UP. and after that i have finished my pg nursing course and after that i have taken the opportunity to uh, educate the student after my pg program i have decided to teach the students so from 2000 onwards i am working um, as a lecturer as a associate professor as a principal vice principal whatever it is and um, i would like to share my experiences which i have gained in 15 years in my clinical area so i always motivate my students so whenever you will start your career don't think for the higher position you have to think from the lower then you will gain the experience and you can be a become a uh, more senior person and you will uh, share your um, experiences with your colleagues also so working in jagatguru shankaracharya it is very nice experience for me and previously also i have worked in uh, so many colleges in raipur itself so everywhere it is nice experience so this is about my experience only yes ma'am and second question is about ma'am being the principal of the jagat guru shankaracharya college of nursing what is your philosophy about the leadership how will you define the leadership okay our leadership philosophy is to direct guide and inspire all my faculty as well as my students to fulfill their specific goal in a given situation suppose if we are in theoretical means the call is the students they have to have a good knowledge of theory and it has to be correlate with the clinical so before going to before sending to the clinical to the students we would motivate our uh, faculties to send uh, to take the students to the practical labs and show all the practicals which is uh, going to be held in the clinical area so student they will be skilled and after that they will go to the clinical area so this is about the philosophy of leadership yes ma'am thank you so much how do you strategize about the key programs and the plan of the marketing and administration in your school being the principal of the college okay being the principal of our we plan to send our students in clinical area regularly um, because it is very far away from the city so in block system we are uh, teaching the students so 3 months block then we will send the student to the clinical area and 3 uh, months clinical then we can make the students to come to the college and uh, uh, take the teaching program and other than this we are sending uh, for visits like old age home destitute home special schools leprosy home and we are sending our students to the pulse polio program also if national programs they are invited our college uh, then we are sending always ready to send our students for any type of uh, like uh, this corona period also some of the student they have worked last year also okay. so we are um, means motivating our students to be participate in that also Yes, ma'am. The education system in India and the other foreign countries are structured very differently. As you can see, what can yes. the, an inbound student gain from the studying in your institute, ma'am? Okay, related to sir, education system in India and foreign, it is entirely different. 
but most probably in india also we can say uh, now we are in uh, chatisgarh if our students will go to the metropolitan cities like bombay uh, like um, dehradun uh, sorry hyderabad bangalore so every institute they have their own policy and other things um, now uh, this year onwards our students they are planning to go to um, uh, government has given us permission to go to the um, uh, bhimrao ambedkar hospital oh. but that is a government setup yeah. if our student after 4 years of program they will go to work in mmi or uh, ramkrishna they have the different policy so they will give their means um, uh, 15 days or 10 days training period like that to be get motivated in uh, their area so we are planning the students means we are teaching all students all the clinical things but some of the instrument those who are not available in government sector uh, that they will find some of the problem but everywhere means the clinical and uh, this uh, theory that is the same and uh, students they will select uh, on compass, uh, campus selection base otherwise that uh, examination base so we are planning uh, to make our student to be a good student so they can face in every area they can work so we are making them to be a uh, gain a good skill in the at least practical area especially Um, excuse me. Um, could you please hold your phone away from your face so that I can see? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. Thank you okay. so much, ma'am. So my next question is to you: What do you think your roles and responsibility to the university and the students? Roles and responsibility. Our main responsibility to prepare our student to be a good in the field of nursing. either it is in the hospital area either it is in the school area or it is in education college so means when they will finish their four years program they can go in three areas either they will would like to work in community they would like to work in hospital either that is metropolitan hospital district hospital government sector whatever that is and education uh, area also but before going to education we will say to the students that you work in the clinical so you will get the experience so with that experience only you can make your uh, further students to teach a good knowledge to them and time to time in university i means to uh, prepare that um, means uh, fill the form of the students and um, some of the time uh, university are giving the uh, as the opportunity uh, to go for the inspections in other college so that we are doing to time to time according to their requirements okay ma'am uh, what do you think should be the university's top priority over the next 10 years okay next 10 years they have to be going to implement it first of all sir they have to start the phd in nursing okay so we have given means all the nurses of education sector from all the education sector means in um, uh, chatisgarh we are having that uh, 100 colleges of nursing so all the nursing colleges principals they have given that um, to vc sir to start the phd program and work is going on for that uh, phd program and second of all uh, some of the time that um, uh, like admissions is very late so we have given them that uh, you prepare a calendar for that one so everything should be in proper way so due to corona now it is also delayed some of what so still the admission is pending so we are planning and we are giving that uh, advice to them to be means priority wise whatever the next 10 years it should be uh, now that all uh, means um, in ugc program all the uh, colleges they are having the semester system so our indian nursing council also they have prepared one uh, syllabus according to semester system so now i think they from this year on was 2020 to 23 uh, to 2122 uh, university is going to plan for uh, means now it was the four years course now it is the eighth semester course so this we are going to be launching this one last question from my side Yes. What do you see as the greatest strength in Jagat Guru Shankaracharya College of Nursing? Okay, looking for greatest strength, we should have to be flexible. 
because now due to this covid so many economic uh, fluctuations is there so we are giving the liabilities in their uh, means uh, how to they have that uh, pay the fees and other things and uh, leadership ability they have to be developed then problem solving skill good communication and learn how to uh, do the new things that we have to uh, make our students to be follow so they can be become a good nurse in for the future either they have worked either in college either in administrative department either in hospital as a nurse whatever it is so means their have the communication skill should be developed more and their skill of work should be competent and their knowledge should be up to date and we are always motivate our student to always keep going on for the study either they have do the pg either they have to attend the seminars in due to this covid period so many seminars government is uh, conducting so they have to be attend so they have to update their knowledge because nowadays science is developing more and more so according to that they have to for greatest strength we have to be attend all these things types of seminars and other things okay ma'am thank you so much for your precious time okay. ma'am it would be very thank nice you, of sir. you